Code. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Directions Mag Geospatial webinar. Today, sponsored by our friends at Airbus and Barbara Duke, managing editor of Directions Mag, joined by our webinar producer, Lynette Qualia. If we encourage you to read the latest geospatial news articles, listen to podcasts, or watch more webinars at directionsmag.com. We are excited to hear from Peter Barron today. So, welcome, Pete. We're glad to have you with us today. Great. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Peter Barron. I'm a technical sales manager at Airbus Defense and Space Intelligence in North America. Um, today, I'll be talking about how Airbus's brand new, very high resolution electro optical satellite constellation called um, Pleiad Neo or Pleiades Neo, I'll also just re be referring to it as Neo throughout the presentation, is ushering in an exciting era for geospatial applications and services. This talk is designed to provide a, a quick 20-minute overview of, of Plaid Neo uh, Constellation capabilities, products, and services. So uh, let's begin. In this ever-changing world, insights are certainly more important than ever to make informed decisions. As space is becoming easier to reach, more connected, more digitalized, it's more than ever a critical domain for lots of markets. Space data is key to make decisions and to solve real-world problems. For example, space data is key for mapping, but also for planning purposes, for situational awareness, for environmental monitoring, security and safety, emergency response, uh, and so many more areas. Innovation, digitalization, and technological progress fundamentally transform entire industries, whole markets, and reshape consumer demands. Our society is increasingly connected and needs more data, more services, and more details, uh, and more precision. So today's marketplace is looking uh, to extract useful information from satellite data to clearly see what's happening on the ground from space. So resolution and quality of the data is a must. And the consistency, the re reliability in the pixel, as well as large volumes allow us to apply more and more algorithms to bring value to the data and, and provide solutions. Se secondly, the market is looking for timeliness. That's as, as important as the data uh, is to receive that information at the right time. So satellite vendors need to be reactive and users need to be able to order data at the last minute and receive it on time. Uh, we also need to monitor areas of interest more frequently to follow their evolution and detect change. Lastly, the market wants security. Customers need to be able to access information easily, but also in a secured way. And the good news is uh, that the next space era has started. Um, Pleiades Neo is already a reality as the first two satellites uh, are already in orbit. The first step was achieved on April 28th with the successful launch of Pleiades Neo 3 from the Guyana Space Center on an Airbus Vega launcher. The second step was achieved on August 16th uh, over the summer with the successful launch of the second Pleiades Neo 4 satellite also from Kourou on a Vega launcher. Um, so Pleiades Neo 3 and 4 are now delivering their first satellite images um, as commercial operations started this year. And Pleiades Neo uh, 5 and 6 will be launched next summer for full commercial operation of the Constellation sometime in Q4 2022. So the resources of these satellites are 100% commercially available, ensuring 30 centimeter resolution data supply for at least the next 10 years. Before going into more details on NEO, let's, let's ask ourselves why, why Airbus. Airbus has been a proven solution provider for decades for imagery, systems, services, and, and, and insights. Um, Airbus Intelligence has been delivering value from data for more than 35 years, providing uh, satellite products and systems to a various range of trusted customers and partners world, worldwide uh, within many industries. So this, this experience close to our diverse customers enables us to listen to their needs day to day so that we can help them anticipate and respond to tomorrow's challenges. Um, Airbus Intelligence is part of Airbus Defense and Space, Europe's largest defense and space company. And our purpose is really to improve life on Earth through our cutting edge space technologies. With every breakthrough, we, we bring people closer together and help solve global challenges on Earth. Therefore, we're consistently uh, innovate in devising our future constellations and systems uh, and platforms in order to accompany you uh, in your decision making and help you bring solutions to the market. Uh, massive data volumes, precise information, and timeliness are more and more crucial. So at Airbus, uh, we can offer our customers a wide range of end-to-end -end services across the 
space ecosystem. Um, we're taking another big step by investing in the next space by offering faster, easier, and more reliable con constellation. Here's an overview of our current and future satellite constellation. We know that it's not a one-size-all-fits matter. Thus, our approach has always been to offer multi-sensor, multi-resolution, and multi-source data. Over 30 years of experience, we've built an unrivaled constellation. Um, here are the optical satellites, ranging from 30 centimeter resolution with the arrival of NEO, up to 22 meter resolution with DMC. This includes our successful constellation Pleiades 50 centimeter and spot 67 1.5 meter, which offer uh, archive going back as far as 2012, as well as other partner satellites like Vision One offering 90 centimeter data. We offer we also offer radar sensors uh, from 25 centimeter to 40 meter resolution. Synthetic aperture radar is weather independent capability, imaging through clouds at, at dawn and dusk local times. And we always keep a step ahead with our future missions on the horizon uh, uh, with the next gen optical constellation called CO3D, which will be offering a global 50 centimeter elevation service. Uh, with Zephyr, a high altitude pseudo satellite capability and a continuation program for our radar services with Terrace or XNEO. So 2021 marks kind of a turning point. Airbus is changing the game here and taking a giant leap uh, in satellite technology by offering uh, the next generation constellation uh, in NEO. So taking a quick glance back at the history of NEO, the project was born in 2016. And since then, we've gone through design phases where we had to take a fast learning approach, where we challenged ourselves to innovate better and faster, even during a pandemic. The launch contracts um, were signed in 2017, first business contracts signed as early as 2019, and commercial operations started in November of uh, 2021 with the first two NEOs on orbit. 2022 will certainly be another landmark year where two more NEOs will join a constellation. So today we're, we're practically in the future with two of the four satellites in operation offering reactive tasking and intraday revisit of any point on Earth. Um, Airbus has made one of the largest commercial investment, investments in the Earth observation and, and geospatial industry to build and launch NEO satellite constellation. Uh, NEO is the first European 30 centimeter satellite constellation, which capacity is entirely dedicated to the commercial market entirely funded, designed, manufactured, and owned and operated by Airbus. And the NEO constellation is designed, designed for greater revisit and reactivity at higher resolution. Um, tasking will be accessible 24-7 and tasking per satellite per, per orbit with image availability quickly after acquisition. So as promised, let's take a little closer look at some of the new features and key benefits of play of these NEO. Here you can see a NEO image over Sydney Airport in Australia. You can clearly observe the lines and the taxiway and the vehicles in the car park. NEO's instrument is an optical payload operating in a push broom acquisition mode, which provides 30 centimeter native resolution images in panchromatic and 1.2 meter resolution images in the multispectral channels with a 14 kilometer swath. This is a first rate commercial uh, ground sample distance, GSD, combined with the highest performance uh, geolocation accuracy under five meters, CE90. This level of sensors quality allows uh, us to detect, identify, and recognize objects with the greatest level of detail and precision. This capability will also improve algorithm results to enable more automation. In terms of spectral channels, uh, NEO will acquire in the panchromatic channel and the six multi-spectral bands, which are deep blue, blue, green, red, red edge, and near infrared. The red edge and deep blue are two additional bands on NEO compared to its predecessors, Pleiades and SPOT. Red Edge and Deep Blue will unveil complementary information. The Red Edge is designed for vegetation analysis and Deep Blue for hydro and bathymetry applications. The Red Edge spectral channel will support improved crop health and vegetation status through photosynthesis characterization, where the Deep Blue will allow deeper penetration in water bodies, clearer understanding of waterways, and improved safety of maritime navigation. Here's a quick look at our standard product com combinations and processing options that we offer. We can deliver data as a bundle product where the PAN and the MS are acquired simultaneously, co-registered and delivered separately, or we can provide a PAN sharpened product where we fuse the PAN and the MS to create a natural color image. 
We also offer a few different geometric and radiometric processing options to meet more advanced user needs or to, dis or to display image-ready formats for, for new users. I won't go into too much depth about our product types today, uh, but let's dive into more details on how the satellite captures imagery. The Neo Constellation has been optimized to respond to all our customers' applications. We decided to position the satellites in the quadrature on a sun-synchronous near-polar orbit at roughly 620 kilometers altitude. Taking into account adequate sun elevation and acquisition angles, the satellite's 90-degree orbit offset guarantees visibility over any point on Earth at least twice a day. Depending on the latitude of the area, the revisit rate can be up to three or four times uh, per day. Uh, with an, another NEO satellite always trailing behind to capture imagery at around 10.30 a.m. local time. This 90-degree phasing has several benefits. It ensures regularity of revisit, which makes it easy for you to organize your operations. This means that every day uh, within the same time window, a NEO satellite will fly over your area of interest, and this will make your change detection tasks easier, and you'll be able to compare images taken at the same hours of the day. It ensures to cover the entire globe, even at its extreme latitudes. When adding our legacy Pleiades and spot sensors, you can acquire over your AOI between four to seven times a day at varying resolutions. This animation shows um, the orbitology of the constellation. Satellites fly from north to south direction around the globe, and the images are taking on the descending orbit when the sun is illuminating the target on Earth. Then the satellite ascends when it's on the dark side of the Earth. This example shows the satellite field of view over uh, the target of Baku, Azerbaijan, at 40 degrees north latitude. The white dotted line is the satellite ground track. The orange concentric circles are the field of views over the target, where the smaller orange circle shows opportunities to collect the image at less than 30 degrees incidence, or the larger orange circle at more oblique, less than 40 degrees incidence angles. In this case, we have over up to uh, access over Baku up to three times a day. The tasking plan is sent to the satellite each time the satellite passes over the pol polar station. A new request can be integrated to the plan up to 10 minutes before the satellite passes over the pole. This allows the integration of new requests for urgent acquisitions and to consider the latest weather forecast, thus focusing over areas where success rate is higher. With its impressive uplink and downlink rates, the system is designed to deliver data acquired in a timely way. Download is triggered when crossing visibility circles of the core ground stations in Toulouse and Corona at the Northern Pole at each orbit, as well as a network of direct receiving partners uh, able to serve local users in near real time. Here's a newly acquired image over Baku, the capital and largest city in Azerbaijan. Uh, if we zoom in uh, to the top left here, um, we can see a full resolution image showing one of its contemporary land landmarks in Baku called the Flame Towers. Pretty cool. This next video shows how one satellite executes its acquisition plan on a single orbit over Europe. The satellite's maneuverability makes possible various acquisition modes adapted to a large range of mission requirements. Standard north to south image strips with a 14 kilometer swath width will be suitable for mapping applications, while target mode will fit defense intelligence or natural disaster and emergency requests. In addition to capturing single images, stereo modes will also allow us to generate digital elevation data, like digital surface and terrain models and other 3D modeling products. Each of the four satellites is extremely agile thanks to the in-house manufactured control moment gyroscopes, CMGs, that, enab that enable the spacecraft to quickly slew left and right to collect one or more images over a target. With four identical satellites phased 90 degrees from each other, NEO ensures regular access anywhere on Earth, at least twice a day. With this agility, various acquisition modes, and optimized planning, the overall resource of the satellite is maximized to ensure we collect and deliver all of our customers' area of interest on time. Looking at the Pleiades NEO coverage capacity, each NEO satellite will be able to collect up to 500,000 square kilometers per day. With four NEO satellites in orbit, that's two million square kilometers per day. If you add the revisit capacity to the agility of the satellites, the constellation can acquire up to 7,500 7, square kilometers in a single pass, and up to 15,000 square kilometers using two satellites. 
of consistent coverage within a day. This guarantees you wide area coverage at very high resolution whenever you need it. Now let's talk about clouds. Clouds can certainly be a hurdle when it comes to monitoring activities on Earth with optical sensors. Um, Pleiades Neo weather forecast has been dramatically improved compared to previous generations. Accurate weather, weather prediction is updated at and for each orbit. More precisely, a global weather forecast is updated four times a day, complemented with a local prediction updates on each orbit. Thanks to this improvement, we estimate that 70% of our data collection will contain less than 10% cloud cover. As a comparison, this rate of 50% on Pleiades, which is already significant. This performance fosters two basic requirements, which are extracting useful information as you're able to effectively observe your cloud-free area of interest and getting data on time. Therefore, it'll enhance our tasking success rate and rapid delivery included in our standard tasking offers where we commit to provide you coverage of your AOI with a threshold value of under 10% cloud covers over your project area. Speaking about speed, let's address tasking reactivity, both in terms of mission programming and delivery. The work plans are updated every, every time a satellite enters into an S-band uplink contact, be it every 25 minutes or 15 times per day per satellite. That represents around 60 plans uploaded every day when talking about the full four ball constellation level. Overall, you can expect to receive an image between 25 minutes and two hours, depending on the AOI location and the reception mode. Work plans are also pooled. This means when an image is collected by one satellite, the related acquisition request is removed from the tasking plans of the other satellites. These multiple and synchronized work plans per day enable easy handling of last minute tasking requests, which can be placed up to 15 minutes before the S-band contact, as well as the integration of latest weather information for improved data uh, collection success rates. In addition, Airbus's network of ground receiving stations enable an all-orbit contact, thus ensuring near real-time performance worldwide, offering the highest standard in terms of reactivity. Images are downlinked at each orbit, automatically processed and quickly delivered to the customer, allowing faster response when facing emergency situations. Reactivity can be dramatically improved leveraging a direct receiving station, or DIRS, in the field. When a customer uh, owns a DRS, tasking plans can be uploaded up to 10 minutes before the S-band uplink contact. And the satellite can acquire in the area and download telemetry simultaneously to the antenna. This greatly reduces delivery lead times as it becomes close to real time. Uh, the, ground segment, the ground segment built to support NEO is brand new architecture based on cloud technology uh, with a massive image production capacity and immediate processing offering quick and easy access to image products. Here's a concept of operations um, example for customers who own their own DRS. Uh, the end user can send in a tasking request, tasking plan is generated, and command uplink sent to the satellite, satellite images, and the data downlink to the customer's DRS uh, for immediate delivery to the end user. The DRS ConOps results in tasking collection and average delivery timelines of around one hour after the tasking plan was submitted. Pretty impressive. For those uh, who do not own their own DRS, the most of us, uh, we offer more standard tasking timelines via a virtual reception service. Similar workflow, the tasking plan is sent in, tasking plan generated, sent to the satellite, is imaged, but it's downlinked to an Airbus ground station before uh, imagery production and, and sent back to the end user. The VRS ConOps results in average delivery timelines of around two hours after the tasking plan was submitted, even still quite fast. Lastly, let's take a quick tour of our digital platform. Our cloud-based portal called One Atlas helps connect imagery from space to the decisions we make here on Earth. One Atlas offers flexible and easy access to constantly updated archive imagery, as well as state-of-the-art tasking solutions to acquire fresh data uh, through a web interface or via API. When Atlas data enables imagery to be delivered in flexible ways through um, streaming, uh, download, or OGC compliant web services. Our data service includes the Living Library, which allows you to stream our archive and fresh imagery instantaneously or, or download the image in multiple formats. Our one tasking offer from which you can request new imagery perfectly su uh, supports your needs from urgent 
tasking uh, to regular monitoring over large areas. One atlas, you can also access various range of reference layers. This base map is a worldwide layer made from our highest grade satellite imagery and is constantly refreshed. It seamlessly adapts to workflows. You can stream it into your GIS or access it through your API or download it into your system. Atlas, One Atlas also grants global access to our digital elevation models, WorldDem, and WorldDem for Ortho via streaming for 3D analytics and generating value add information. Finally, if we zoom back to New York City here, our analytics toolbox helps you monitor your AOIs across time with a powerful analysis solution focusing on infrastructure and land use changes and activity level measurement through feature extraction and object identification based on archive imagery and tasking cap capabilities. As far as pricing, we offer several options. For archive, we offer pay per order or subscription based pricing models that tracks your usage and consumption as you stream or download the data. The small subscription package starts at under $5,000 per year. And as usage grows, we can customize subscription packages. For tasking, um, this is where the premium costs kick in. The pricing can be gener is generally based by square kilometer uh, with a 100 square kilometer minimum order requirement. Searching the archive is as easy as drawing or uploading an AOI, selecting an image in the catalog and streaming it on the fly at full resolution right in the web UI, or serving the image out to your favorite GIS or image software. For those that want the full product with the metadata, you can choose to order the image, download it, and process it on your own local network uh, or machine. With our tasking offer, you are at the command of the satellite. You can request new imagery easily from one atlas um, or the portal leveraging, um, or from your own portal leveraging our APIs uh, for more urgent situations uh, to more medium term AOI monitoring. And here's some of the newest algorithms and solutions that have been integrated into the analytics toolbox, focusing on infrastructure change, land use, building and roads extraction, uh, activity level monitoring, um, by counting cars, trucks, military, commercial planes, and ships based on our archive and tasking. So to sum it up, Airbus is now offering the largest capacity of 30 centimeter imagery in the Earth observation market today. Uh, here are some of the major value propositions for PNEO. It allows you to acquire um, at least two 30 centimeter native resolution images of your area of interest anywhere on Earth every day, closely monitor critical sites, with enhanced change detec detection algorithms with consistent, frequent, and highly accurate NEO data, enhance your change detection uh, algorithm results. And for the highest priority and last minute request, NEO's reactivity along with Airbus's satellite tasking commitment ensures your images requests are delivered on time and on spec. This allows us to produce large, seamless imagery mosaics thanks to NEO's optimized large area acquisition capability. And be assured you will receive consistent, accurate imagery you need precisely when you need it. NEO is entirely commercially available, all four satellites. So it's straightforward. Uh, placing your tailored tasking request from your computer becomes very simple as you'll get qualitative and comparable imagery. This image over the Dubai Air Show, um, collected on November 14th, brings us to the end of the presentation today, but there's, there's a lot more to talk about. So if you wish to find additional information about Pleiades Neo or any Airbus intelligence products, I invite you to visit our website um, or reach out to us with any questions. Thanks for listening and enjoy the rest of your day or evening. Thanks, Pete. <clears throat> Lots of great information. And so folks, if you still have a question, type that in really quickly or follow up with them um, via that email address, uh, solutions at airbusna.com. Thanks again to Pete for sharing his expertise, and we hope that you go make it a great day. Tell a friend about Airbus and Directions Magazine. Thanks, everybody.